بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتور رائد البخاري مستشفى الملك فهد الجامعي جامعة الدمام uh, Today I'll be explaining knee examination uh, short style OSCE knee examination أحمد بعد إذنك حافحص ركبتك لو في أي ألم uh, تعطيني خبر أثناء الفحص uh, just to remind uh, viewers uh, that uh, the principle of uh, musculoskeletal examination or joint examination will follow the same same scheme inspection palpation and movement so inspecting the skin for any uh, skin changes uh, any articular changes or extra articular changes articular changes looking into the knee joint comparing both side and left followed by looking at extra articular changes skin subcutaneous tissue and uh, muscles uh, this patient have uh, multiple areas of hypopigmentation over his right knee similarly some hypopigmentation on the other side and uh, reflecting uh, some prior uh, uh, injuries there is also with muscle wasting and uh, muscle wasting can be documented later by actual taking measurement of the circumference of uh, the muscle but obviously the patient is having bilateral muscle uh, wasting affecting uh, his quadricep uh, femoris feeling palpation temperature comparing both side over the kneecap and shin and left and right so again com feeling the temperature over the knee comparing it with the leg and similarly the other side and comparing temperature of both knees and the patient is having equal temperature normal temperature usually it's cooler over the, the patella compared with the leg <coughs> Feeling for tenderness. لو في ألم تعطيني خبر. Again, as well as muscle tenderness and below for any bursitis or tenderness along the medial joint line, lateral joint line for any tenderness over collateral ligament. Similarly, if for any tenderness. followed by uh, palpation and the palpation is for any tenderness and swelling so we felt and the patient is not tender and for effusion in the knee there are multiple uh, technique for feeling for effusion the first one is be would be bulge sign which is usually for mild effusion and the way it is done that you milk the fluid from the medial compartment laterally into the lateral compartment doing such and then pushing it from laterally medially if there is any effusion it will appear medially as a bulge and they we call it bulge sign again and doing it for the other side now the other side we are going to be using our thumb for milking and holding the fluid from coming back and filling the medial side and then you press again one more time okay. lastly again Now, any swelling will appear immediately as a bulge and we call it bulge sign. The second maneuver that we are using for effusion is pushing the fluid from the suprapatellar pouch as such and doing a patellar tap. You push the patella down and if there is any effusion, it will strike the femur and you will feel that and doing it as such 
Also, a third technique for feeling for effusion, looking for fluctuation. And in this way, similarly, you squeeze the fluid from the cephalopatellar pouch. Your second hand behind both patella and feeling for fluctuation. And feeling for fluctuation. So the second te one technique is feeling for patellar tap by squeezing the fluid from the suprapatellar pouch and looking for patellar tap or squeezing the fluid from the suprapatellar pouch and feeling for any fluctuation. And the patient do not have any evidence of effusion. So there are three techniques for feeling for effusion, just to remind people again. One is bulge sign. Second, fluctuation. Thirdly, patellar tap. Now, we felt for tenderness and evidence of uh, effusion. Lastly, we'll do movement. Now, for movement, you put your hand over the patella and bend your knee, sitting rigidly, and you feel for any crepitus, similarly range of motion. And do not forget also to ask the patient if there is any pain to tell you. If there is so we feel for crepitus and range of motion. This is the maximum that the patient can do. So he obviously has uh, a limited flexion in both sides. And he has crepitus in both uh, sides. And that would conclude short examination of the knee with inspection palpated for tenderness as well as uh, swelling, and we moved uh, the joint, felt for crepitus, as well as looked at the range uh, of motion.